Chinese uh, lunar, lunar calendar day, and uh, we uh, appreciate this affinity that we can get together. So this is the first time in the seven years. And so this is a good thing. So today we are going, today is the September, September 2nd, and we are going to read uh, 2019, December 25th to 31st. And the next week we will start from the Master Genius Diary from uh, 2020. So this is the common goal. Let's read it together. Keep talking about city spirit. Listen to the Dharma teaching mindfully. Believe we have the potential and diligently maintain our initial aspiration. So we need to seize every moment to talk about the Ziji share with others. Master Zheng Yan say, if we, if Ziji was established in Taiwan, and we if we are still misunderstood by Taiwanese people, it's not because we did not do it enough, but because we didn't talk about, we did not talk enough about it. So we used to let go after we had done something. So now we have to seize every chance to share good things and say good words. Now let's follow in the words together. The good Dharma will be spread on east unceasingly. So it's really important to talk about the Ziji. We hope uh, through the online study group and uh, we can uh, get a uh, very positive energy. This week, the interpretation, uh, interpretation team is from is Kao Xiong team. So we appreciate the uh, uh, brother Guo Zixiong and the Dai Changsheng and the Ding Xueyu and the Su Sen Hao and the Hong Jiaying and the Li Xian sister. And uh, actually yesterday, the team was uh, uh, on, the, the team was here to practice for tomorrow, for today's uh, uh, lesson class. So we really appreciate. And now, and now this is uh, the uh, catching phrase. This is the uh, catching phrase created from principle. And now we are going to have the feedback on the last week. So if you can share, please invite your friends and uh, your good friends to give us, a, to leave the message, to give us a good comment, give us a feedback. We will really appreciate it. Like uh, we appreciate our sister Ci Qing. She, uh, she is the one to give us a feedback in the first place when the, when the online study group started. And until today, she kept uh, leaving the message to us. And here, this is uh, the feedback. Uh, it's a general feedback on the on the on the teamwork. Like this uh, brother, give us uh, the feedback and to encourage everyone to join the online study group because uh, it is so um, uh, so inspiring and you can get uh, lots of uh, positive energies. And this is the feedback on the lectures we have read last week. And we were sent to our line group or WeChat. Like our CEO, Wang Benrong, last week, he has uh, so many, he, he got so many comments. And like our, uh, like our, like our sister Zhuang Xue from Tainan, 83 years old, she also received uh, so many positive feedback. And uh, your feedback is very encouraging. And the one that we received most comments was from Sister Yao Su Jin, 
She also gave us a feedback in English. She admire, she admire sister Zhuang Xue. And this is the feedback. This is the feedback on the call out last week to Sister Wena in Mongolia. And the Sister Wena, you was great. We also appreciate that you get online every week. Although the connection sometimes may be not go smoothly, but we uh, always uh, 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 think positive. And this is the feedback on the doctor Chen Wei Ren last week. This young doctor is、um, remarkable, and we also we we also feel very grateful. He got a sense of humor, and、uh, it's a good. Yeah, he's a he's a Chinese、uh, medicine、uh, profession, save many people's life. And this is the feedback on the co-op that、like、we、uh, co-op to brother in Malaysia. And then this is the feedback on the teacher bonus from the sister Ong Qianhui, and the happy teacher will have the happy students. And we are so、uh, touched by the sharing from、uh, CEO, the former principal of the university of City University, Wang Penrong. And、uh, his wisdom is the model that we have to, we can follow. We also appreciate the feedback from Malaysia, and、uh, we have the comments from Canada. We have the sister from、uh, Yang Meiqing from Canada. And、um, comments from America, and this is a、uh, Japan. This is a、uh, volunteers from Japan and、um, from China. So this is the message message from message from the volunteer in China. Let's give them a big hint. And、uh, last last month, we send our best blessing to one of、uh, our、uh, sisters in Mongolia. Her daughter is was going to pass the uh, uh, the, the uh, university uh, exam at、uh, the entrance、uh, test, and、uh, today she gave us the good news that uh, her uh, daughter passed the、uh, passed the entrance the、uh, the passed. The exam, the test. We also grateful to the brother, the sister in the the volunteers in Xi'an. Let's see the let's let's get the let's get the let's, let's get the so many positive energies.
And the brother, the brother in the brother Li Ping, he、uh, mobilized the volunteers to have a study group. Argentina, and we have the foreign and the comments in uh in the YouTube. Like a Grace left the message about the the doctor, and she said that the, our great healers are wonderful. So, no matter where you are, you are more than welcome to leave the message either on either on the line or WeChat. Or the Facebook or the YouTube, and this is actually this is an asset created by the lecture of Wang Benrong. He was invited to give us a share last week, and、uh, after after his sharing, he、uh, he wrote an asset, and、uh, he admired the teamwork of online study group, and the teamwork is. So close and、uh, so so great. So great. And this online study group connects so many countries. So all the all the sisters and brothers all over the world can、uh, can join the online study group. This is a、uh, this is amazing. And then this is an asset wrote by the young doctor from Dalian Cixi Hospital. He was a、uh, he was touched. He was touched when、uh, when he joined the online study group. And actually, he was inspired by the sharing from the、uh, sister Li Weina in Mongolia. And now we also can see、uh, several assets created by the sisters and brothers in China. 文斌师姐、师兄，您的带动非常有能力。他们把实业家集合起来，开始在带动，因为陕西。They were inspired. They were inspired because they joined the online study group in in 陕西。The every、uh, every asset is very、uh, is very is very inspiring. Okay, so now it's because the time. So we got into call call out to sister sister Lee. So now to look at this video first. We are going to. Let's welcome. Ah,、uh, let's be watch the ah、uh, brother Amin's video. And at the Obama schools. We are going to talk about the education in September, and in the in the United States, let let's take a look at how we um、uh, plant the seeds in the education system of TT. That's one thing our parents really like about us. Number one reason why they choose TT preschool is care to education. This is Monrovia in TT, and in South Southern California. This is a 
first、um, accredited to the Eco Academy, 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 Academy,
and the uh, volunteers are working like our family to encourage each other and uh, with the staff as well. And the blessings, the letters from Master Junyuan, and the care package for the families. And we also、uh, promote vegetarianism in the school, and volunteers working diligently to cook、um, tasty vegetarian meals for the family, student family, and the staff. I'm very, very touched to watch the video.、Uh, we've seen when we watch the video. We,、um, I, I could see that the CEO Chong Xuan. 好，重新师姐，请说话了。您在画面上的是。And let's all welcome together the CEO of TG Mission of the United States. I love to be with you because you have the positive energy. Hi, Sister Chang Xuan. Please go ahead. You can speak now. You are now. A dear drama master, Jian, and dear drama masters, and dear、um, Tzu families in Kaohsiung. Ah, thank you for thank you for welcoming me and allow me to learn with you. Um, was the hope for fulfilled my heart, and we hope that um we outdo to the future with hope. And we are very grateful that in 2006 there's a, a regular school in established to this. Schools in the United States.、Um, so the the kindergartens in Monrovia and the and the Jalas and the he and the first one was the in the Houston. And in the in the United States, it is really really hard to, to establish the、uh, regular schools. We、uh, we don't have、um, we don't have enough experience, but we work hard to learn and overcome all the、uh, obstacles. And we hope that we could establish the schools with good environment and beautiful、um, city. Uh, CG spirit, and it doesn't matter whether where you are、um, in the United in the United States. We hope that you, as long as you are the students in the CG schools, you.、Uh, Every one of us have the、uh, responsibility to take care of each other and to purify our heart. We hope that we could plant these good seeds in the、um, in the students' mind. And this is the painted from the、um, one of the kindergarten children, and he、uh, drew drew these pictures about the、uh, this、um, celebration of Chinese New Year that the staff and student and staff and the families there、uh, just like a big family they are celebrating. Uh, Chinese New Year's together, and you can see that this、uh, pic painting it is very cute and、um, looks very happy. It's a big city. It's a big family. Although sometimes there there are challenges and the communication between、uh, parents and staff, but we、uh, manage to. Communicate and to allow us each other to understand、um, our own、um, each other's thoughts. So、uh, we overcome the obstacle, and also there are also、um, quarrels among students, and that was very common. But we hope that、uh, um, going through this growing pain,、uh, we could use to the to the spirit to teach them to. Hope that they could、um, learn how to love each other and help each other.
And these are the um, the alumni of the kindergarten, and they came back to um, students. Alumni came back to visit us, and also they have they also uh, donate donate money to in the bamboo coin banks to I uh, hope that they could accumulate a little bit of money to us uh, to help the needy and. Their uh, uniform is just like the, the uniform is wearing the city uniform is just like a little volunteers that they could learn um, city spirit. Um, uniform is a reminder of them to um, to make benefit of themselves and also helping others at the same time. And we also that uh, not only we could help City Academy in the United States, not only help the students in the, our own city schools, but we also help the um, spread the city spirit to other children in the in the United States, and we. In the city's mission, city education mission, we hope that the uh, spiritual uh, cultivation could bring into the uh, public school system. And the 2018, the Jones Elementary School uh, got recognition of gold medal of their um, spiritual cultivation. And the Obama School, they are they are very happy to cultivate the uh, their spiritual wisdom, and 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 the overseas exchange programs we um and for the. Uh, although this year, um, the uh, overseas exchange programs were canceled due to the pandemic outbreak, but in this year we still held the hosted the summer camp, happy summer camp. And we hope that uh, the little, little children, they could also help to promote the vegetarianism. Um, Messaging and say that the United States, if the United States awaken, the whole world will be safe. And so that the little, little, little children are has tremendous potential to help us to spread the Dharma teachings of Dharma Master Chen Yin and hope that they could, uh, during the amidst the pandemic, we not only um, pass on the knowledge, we also pass on the Dharma teachings and hope that they could uh, turn the consciousness into wisdom. And so that in the future, we hope that they, in their life, they could, um, no matter what kind of challenges they are in their life they are facing, they are confronting, they could always use the Dharma teachings and the, and the wisdom that they learned from Tzuji Academy, they will be able to overcome the challenges. And this is very short, time that we will leave for the CEO sharing, but she is very clear and mindful in her sharing. Uh, very, thank you. Thank you for the great sharing. Now let's go to the guide reader. And uh, we are talking about uh, the footprint of Mr. Zheng Yan. So here we are having a reading here by Lin Ji Hui. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. And I'm from Kaohsiung. And today I'm going to share with you 
I'm going to share with you the winter part of the footprint of Mr. Zheng Yuan. And that week, you know, when Mr. Zheng Yuan is on the way to Jiayi, and、uh, she feels that the time passes by, so everybody has to just cherish the moment and seize the moment, and、uh, cut you and accum accumulate blessings for yourselves. And、uh, that's remind of you know that's reminded you of this that like twenty years ago when Darling was still a very very deserted field, and now it is a very very big hospital that sells life. And、uh, Mr. Zheng Yan just thinks in mind that you know everybody just can do something as long as they have the aspiration and are willing to do so. And she felt twenty years ago that the field that was going to be built into the hospital was just right on a desert land that people could not just go there because it was not very convenient in traffic. And now, hearing what people talk about and listening and hearing about what people. Are talking about are just the happiness that they have gained from the hospital because the hospital saved their lives, relieved their pains. And in 2003, a group of people happily went on a trip to Ali Shan, and unfortunately, they had a really big accident, like the train derail there. And we had、uh, later、uh, more than 173 people injured. Now let's take a look at the video. And the Buddha's greatest purpose of coming to the world was to teach the ways of the Buddhisattva. And indeed, to practice the ways of the Buddhisattva is to benefit the all living beings. With loving kindness and compassion, and on the afternoon of March the first, two thousand three, I witnessed the, the greatest suffering in the world, and it's just like a hell. And when we arrived at the disaster site, and I truly can't describe how I how I felt their family members. They just yelled and cried out, so we just embraced them, and we just tried to comfort them. And after those people who pass away are finally settled down, and they just ask whether we can just accompany them to the funeral home, and we say okay. And what touches me deeply is that when we arrived at the funeral home, I saw that our fellow volunteer, Mr. Wang, had prepared the ginger tea and set up tents, gathering many fellow volunteers for us. And as a volunteer, when I saw it, I was deeply touched because we had so many people caring about us. On the ambulance, as the mountain roads are very twisty and the body were so incomplete, so the bodies were very, very much deformed. So I bowed to the deceased and say to send you to the funeral home. Smoothly, I will press your shoulder with my hands and hold your head in place with my knees. So please pardon me. <laughs> and I just kept a gesture from Ali San to the funeral home, although I felt very uncomfortable. And I just moved it not only once. <coughs> I didn't change my position. And I hope that、uh, the bodies could not just suffer the second hurt. And Master, I am not brave, but, but、uh, serving as a Cici volunteer, it、uh, gives me courage and、uh, perseverance. It is not only a responsibility, and、uh, it is my honor to serve as a volunteer. And Master Zheng Yan says, "Don't forget that year." And we accompany those who suffer bravely. So we are the living Buddhisattva. And if you put Dharma in mind and let it nourish our mind, so it is just like the dew drops that can really nourish our mind. And if you don't cherish it, and it will evaporate very quickly. So we have to do every possible step and really step on it diligently, and we look forward that 
everybody can just put the Dharma in mind and do it among people. Whenever we see people suffering, and、uh, people will think about Tsuji volunteers, and this is our remark, and this is our sign. And we can stretch our hand, and we can embrace living beings, and we can relieve、really、pains of the people. And getting older, and the death is a natural law of our people in the world. And let's share you a video of Mr. Zheng Yan now about this. And I also do something, and if you do it, you will get it. And don't just say that, Master. I listen to your Dharma talks, and I'm certified, and I do good deeds too. But why is that? I have such bad consequences in my life and bad luck. And I want to ask every one of you: Have I not done anything? I have. Although I haven't just personally carried out the work. I pass on the Dharma teachers to everybody, and since I was young, I have suffered from an illness. Through all these years, while carrying out Tsuji's work, to this day, I am still living with illness. Now I'm again confirming that aging and illness is the law of nature. Thus, I want to tell everyone: there is no one who never dies. <coughs> no material is permanent in the world. Yet that we can make good use of it. We can make good use of our life. We need to make even more precious use of our body. And if you let your life go by easily, it is a waste of your life. After we make a conscious use of our life, and have made good use of our body, then we will have no regrets. Thank you, Master Zheng Yan. And with the Infinity Sutra content, and the, we learn that everybody can be sick, but we can also deliver the Dharma very smoothly. So no matter you encounter problems or encounter good conditions, then you will just think about the Dharma and use it well in your life. I sincerely, I sincerely recommend this, and that is a straight and a wide Bodhisattva path. And don't forget about that year, and don't forget about aspiration. And when time is there, and when we are there, then we can actively do something. And do our best, and walk among people, and give whatever we can to people. And life is short, and、uh, therefore it is precious. And it is very difficult for us to have the life of a human body. So, would you give me your hand and、uh, put your arms? If you put your hands around your heart, and that's really love. Embrace people, embrace human beings, and live as a role model, and be a role model in your life. Therefore, you are the living Buddhisattva. And I really wish that you can just walk well, speak well, and do well. Thank you very much. Do you feel you were touched? And actually, we have another guide reader, but now we have a teacher Lin Jihui here. But we still want to thank to her, and she promised me that she would come. And、uh, whatever mission I give her, and she will just get it and do it well. And come on, for such a briefing, and she gave it to me within three days, and she is here standing, and. We let me tell you the secret. And actually, before this, then she was the partner, as、uh, you know, Armin's hostess. And let me tell you this, and how efficient our team is. We are just like that. Whenever we are and whatever mission we have, then we will just do it. It is a really successful experience for her that she was just a training. Volunteer, and she began such duty 
until now, and she's always so professional. Therefore, okay, I really want to appreciate everything that she takes. She showed us. Thank you, Ji Hui. At the same time, with such a wonderful briefing, and I really hope that you are online and that you can appreciate such thing here. Then we have a lot of windows that you can just get into. Then we have many, you know, gates, you know, in you on YouTube and on Facebook and online. And today, let's say hello to everybody on broadcast. And would you like to just hold your cell phone and leave a message for us? And maybe there's something wrong with my microphone, so you will hear some kind of noise, which is annoying. And now we have、uh, volunteers from Tianjin. Thank you. And we have people from Guangzhou. <laughs> and we have a show message that good morning to everyone. And we have a Canadian volunteers, and they say thank you. And we are so grateful. And a victory in California. And we have a Su Guang in Thailand, and she says that you are wonderful. You are a talent for us. And another volunteer says that I I was not there on site, but I'm online watching you, and I'm so happy. So good for you. And also we have a Su Guo from Taoyuan, and she says that we are very happy to be here, and I feel the Dharma joy. And Michael says, how how are you, everybody? And we have volunteers also from Canada say hello to us. And here we got a message from North California, and they are very happy here. And we have family members, family volunteers from China. And Bill says thank you, and you always encourage us, and we are so happy to have you here. And here, we、well, like to say that in Canada, we also have a, such a study group there, and we will be talking about this later on.、Okay. And Betty says that you know I work hard because you know I do my best. So we have the study group so wonderful here, and we have the Shelly saying hello to everyone, and we also have volunteers from the U.S. And just now. We heard Mei Yi and Xi, and Mei Yi and Zi Yun are online, and they are watching us too. Good, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, volunteers from Doctor Chen from Singapore, and it's gonna be great show for us. And I'm so grateful that we have a good translation team in Gaoshu today. And interpreters are wonderful here. And today we have the first guest right here, and she is Zi Yun. And when she is replying on the Wang Ling Yi's topic, and、uh, okay, let me tell you, she is so busy, but she still left a great messages to encourage us. And I show you such messages because you know, we are talking about something about the Ziyun, and it is really touching that I really have to show you. And because you know COVID nineteen, and it is very inconvenient to go anywhere, but the Ziyun is still you know. Very happy to be here, and she also says that it is the seventh birthday to online study group, and she said happy birthday to us, and I'm very happy about that. And within more than five hundred days, that the the online study group really accompany people and share you a lot about the city and a lot of short and touching stories. And thank you, every volunteer here. And we will just, you know, love you, and we will just support you. Thank you very much. Let's give her a big hand. True, we have more than two hundred volunteers, you know, in Taiwan and overseas, and we work hard all together. And today is the Luna July fifteenth, and we also receive a lot of good informations online. And we work as a team, and、uh, we are, you know, very, very powerful. And if you just do it individually, then you can just do much, right? 
okay. And good. And now you will see Ci Yun's posters here. And she is really important person for us, right? And last year in 2019, and she was here, and uh, we also received a lot of positive feedback about her. And I've known her since, you know, I was the hostess of a campaigns, and uh, she is also a very hard worker, and she works really diligently. And maybe you don't know that. And Ci Yun actually follows Mr. Zheng Yuan whenever Mr. Zheng Yuan has any trip outside Jin's abode. And I always remember that Ci Yun experience when Ci Yun was hosting the year end ceremony. And Ci Yun always cares about me. And when she sees that I just, you know, had my drift for 17 pages, and she just said, you are the hardest one that I have ever seen. And I think that she said this to everybody to encourage all of them, and I'm one of them that was encouraged by her. But I was touched, and I really learned something. Whatever she does and whatever she sees, and uh, she is always, you know, encouraging people by doing or saying something by herself. And let's take a look at what happened in 2019 when Si Yun was here. And I'm very grateful. And and in 2019 then we can have some interaction again later on and thank you thank you thank you volunteers that we have such a great images so when she just get retired in november and she just devoted herself in Ciji. and we are really hard working everyone here and now you can take a look at what she did in Turkey. Of course not. She is. She was not there for sightseeing. And she went there for Manan High School. And she want to see all the volunteers and all the students there and spread love to Turkey. And it is the first time in Turkey. And when I carry a bamboo bank and the let them insert coins and I can feel they are happy and they are contented, although I don't know their languages. And it was my first time coming to Turkey. And let me tell you that her first experience to Turkey was not for sightseeing, but for charity works there. And she is really somebody for us in Ciji. And right here, you can see that, you know, she is in Guangzhou, Guangdong. And maybe you participated in her assembly there. And she was there encouraging a lot of volunteers about the how to hold a campaign and activity and how to keep it going. And you can just say something clear and give something really, you know, wonderful with quality. And suddenly you hear Ci Yun's voice and you get charmed. It is really charming, right? And on a TV program, on the ITV, then we also have something here about Ci Yun. And if you can finish listening to all the radio programs within almost 30 years, then you will know that, you know, I, I, I'm really something there. And you can just keep energy right here and keep yourself energy right there. And this is really touching here. And and we really have, we really rarely have such an experience, you know, listening to such a thing. And here we can have, you, you can see it has menstrual blood right here. And it is really precious. And I collect this small box right here. And more than 20 years ago in Jin's abode, because Mr. Zheng always need to give even a shot 
So I just press the master's arm with the cotton, and you will see it has like a master's blood drop right here. And I, I really feel tossed because you know we, we, I can really think that how much Master Zheng has done. And think about you know when the hospital was being constructed, then we will feel one break and uh, one drop of water, and every drop of effort. And every single dollar were collected just by every single volunteer of Ziji. So I have to share such aspirations to you. And Ziyun has aspiration and has a power. Let us know with your big club, big hands. <clears throat> and now, I originally don't want you to watch this video, but now I have to share you this. As a Ziji volunteer. And I was sent, you know, to say something, and, and what I could say was just "Omi Tofu," and I, I think that I have to find someone else that can really, you know, deliver the Dharma, and、uh, the person must be graduated from the relevant department. And then after this, then I heard the student's voice, and I asked her, "Where did you graduate?" And she said that I graduated from Sichuan University. So I felt so happy that I just write on something, and I want her to just, you know, say it on the radio. And now this is a very familiar sound, right? And it says that. Amitaha, and every day, then you will hear my voice at the same time every evening. And it begins more than thirty years ago. And Ziyun's real name, the the original name was Yang Bizhu, and her hobby was flying the kite and doing the flower management and inviting friends and hanging around there. But finally, after she got into Ziji, everything changed. And the subtitle says that from Monday through Wednesday, and she just carried the heavy loaded mastering tapes, coming and the force the radio. I mean the 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 old audio rooms, just to radio tap the programs of Ziji about what Master Zheng Yan says, and she has done this for over thirty years until now, and that is Ziyun. And she does this for so many years, just alone. And she remembers that she has a lot of chances to just sleep in the Taipei main station. And when I just passed by a newspaper stand, and I heard the owner play the radio broadcast about my program, and I was really touched, right? Okay. If you can bet yourself in the stream of the Dharma, and it will be a very, very good path for us, because it is wisdom that never stops. So you can just find out the true sincerity in your life within the radio programs. After hearing this, and do you feel you are so grateful? And Ziyun had a really different life when she was an official servant, right? And she just wanted to relax her life, but now it's totally different, right? And now. Let's have a Ziyun. And it is a very good song, so I like you to listen to it more.
I have to come along with the team because I don't have my assistant today. And please come back, ladies. And you will know that our team members are so great because you know, they didn't do any rehearsal just for this. So when you see the clip only for three minutes, that the team wanted just to do the flower management and the flower the kite when she was a servant. I mean office. Servant, and we just think about this, and we put the three volunteers with the three kites behind her. All right. After doing all of this, and do you feel very touched? And Siyun has so much to share with you about you know her stories between she, between her and Mr. Zheng Yan, and because you know she is a really great disciple of Mr. Zheng Yan, so let's you know welcome Siyun with your big hand. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and ladies volunteers, and thank you very much. And, and do you know the video you you just you know saw was about you know my personal story, and it was filmed at the MRT gate at the Guangdu. And the song we just played was about a Da Ai drama, and the name is "The Sunshine in Your Heart" by Gao Huijun. And Manolo, Master Zheng Yan, and the Master Percy Abode, and, and everybody here, and the older volunteers online. And good day. I'm very, very happy that I'm here today, and I'm talking about the guide on air with you. And in 2018, you know, I had a book in 2018, and it was just guiding you as a, it's just as a guide. And everybody has their own professional. And they they can just guide their own children some directions so they won't get lost when they are you know searching for their future jobs. And I'm very honored that I was invited to write down something in this book. And within the Cixi family, and we always have new volunteers coming in. So now let me briefly introduce myself to you. And I was certified in 1988, and it's been 33 years that uh, since I was certified. And in 1988, because you know, Mr. Zheng Yun needs me, needed me, so I quit my job as an office servant and I came back here to Cixi. And my father was really, really felt pity about this. But I just followed what Mr. Zheng Yun wanted me to say. I just, you know, quit the job and the came here until now, and I never feel regretted, and because it was a great thing to do for me. And my brother also told me that uh, the decision that I made at that time, 33 years ago, was so right. And now I am in charge of the Ciji Dai Radio, and I had my broadcast department. And some people may ask that you quit the job and that you came here to Ciji. And were you professional? Is this a, your profession? And let me tell you that I graduated from Shixin University, and my major was radio and the television. And uh, I also was an assistant in my school, which is Shixin University. And uh, I graduated. Uh, sorry, and uh, I just graduated from my school, and uh, I got retired in 2018. And right in that year, again, I just came here to. And I began working on July first that year, and I never get any rest. So within the three years, and I also worked for many many years. That, but when I think about Mr. Zheng Yan, and I just felt I didn't do much. 
and my broadcasting program, which is Da Ai Radio, and was a really good show. Was a really good program that a lot of people heard, and it even was broadcasted. In Renmin Broadcasting, but actually, when, but actually, you know, on the thirtieth anniversary of my radio broadcasting life, and、uh, I just wanted to give people the correct information, and I asked and consulted a lot of information, so I corrected the statistic, and、uh, I want to tell you that. Twenty years later, which was year two thousand five, and then my Dai Radio was just open, and it was very unfortunate that I didn't have the chance to have a real broadcast. So. It was also my chance that we began my, you know, online broadcast in very very early years. So it was also a good chance, right? And, and now the radio station just played my program, okay, from my online radio station. And so it, it was also my chance to just let you hear this. And now, can you hear my Da Ai Radio from your radio and from internet? Of course, yes. And now you can hear it is it is the book that is published. Okay, and the title is the sound and the broadcast in thirty years, and in two thousand fifteen, it's been thirty years for my radio broadcast. And、uh, thank you very much, Teacher Mei Yun, and you just came here to see me that year, and I remember it very deeply in my heart. And now, if we, I am asked that what I'm doing here now, and actually, let me tell you, I always do the same thing, okay, online. And every morning from six ten to seven, and you will hear my voice, you know, online. So now a lot of people say that、uh, when we have a Thai TV and now、uh, we don't have a chance to listen to the radio, so do we still need a radio station now? Because now we use eyes and the watch TV when we just do the houseworks. And now about this, and I like to tell you that the topic that I'm going to share you today about the whole process before I got into Ziji and now. All right, let me tell you again. And I was certified in year. 1988, and I was certified twice that day, that year, and there was not a you know certifying ceremony at that time. No, sorry, and for the early stage, and I was just you know got certified at the Jilin, you know the Jilin Assembly places, which was really easy, simple, and then say shabby, and. And they will just get, you know, get a souvenir for the new certified volunteers, and I got one with a Chinese nod on which it just says "giving." And I deeply realized that it was the way that I have to walk on, and that was what happened in 1988. And you know that Suji was established in 1966, and until 1988, it had been like 22 years, right? And the the Huarian Suji Hospital was already. It was established、uh, like two years, right? Okay, and that year I just got into the Ciji Junior College of Nursing, and that year I was honored that because you know Mr. Zheng Yuan just just you know pin up the commissioner badge for me. Therefore, it means that I have to shoulder both the Ciji's responsibility and the the Tata Gangsa's. Mission. 
。好，那么我就要说到，你们有没有想过，我们的委员会员是什么时候才开始比较这个跳动的哈？And do you have this、uh, certification from CD? I don't even have this certification、um, because I'm not senior enough as CD March as CD Commissioner. And And when、um, when is the big progress of the CD、uh, the number of CD members?、Uh, I went through the CD. Dig into the city's、uh, history, and the first decade, there were、uh, we spent、uh, we spent twelve years to recruit only ten thousand a hundred thousand members, and and the, and the second decade, and it was the.、Um, And in 1989,、uh, there were、uh, 500, 500,000 CD members, and in 1999, there were、um, about one million CD members. So in the four years. From 1987 to 1999, there were a CD member number of CD members grew ten times. Um, after we have built uh established a CD CD hospital, we still need a lot of um support for to do construction for. Um, Great Love Village and a lot of constructions for the needies.、Um, in 1989,、um, it was the year we established the Suji Junior College of Nursing School. And、uh, also in the 1989, um, it's the first um edition of CG Alpha Re uh Jinx Alpha Reason, and also in the October of October 20th, President Li Denghui um awards CG uh plaque of compassion relief of the world, and um. In the World Magazine,、um, the、um, the editors and take the staff to visit Dharma Master Jingyan in nineteen ninety nine, June eighteenth. Master Jingyan、uh, had a host. Was invited to、um, to give a speech in the memorial hall of the、uh, country father. And、um, this is the this is yeah. The, the, see the red circle is the message in the auditorium. And this is the first.、Um, this is the speech and the. Master Jingyi was invited by Wu Zhengxian Foundation, and what am I doing on the stage? Also, see the circle.、Um, I was reading the city commission statement, and all of you have、um, received the、um, family heirloom of city. Have you ever read carefully? What is the The mission, city mission statement. Have you read closely? And、uh, one day, De Jing's master, De Jing, um, asked me whether I've read closely to the city, uh, city mission statement. And I could not recall, but I can re. What I can remember was that whenever I I um host. I'm a AC. I hosted the、um, city activity. I always have to read the city mission statement, and the city mission statement was written by Master Zheng Yan. And in 1980, it was written in 1989. And this is the preface of the.、Um, 
City Commissioner Manual in 1989. And in 1992, it was a city commissioner manual. It was no longer um, to, uh, preface. It. it was the, it became a statement of city commission. And in, uh, in the Southern Taiwan, we always, we always need to do the sharing using Taiwanese dialects. And it was a very, it's a big challenge to me. And um, I was a very, uh, I was very fortunate that Master Zheng Yan taught me uh, Taiwanese dialect because it was very challenging for me to do the sharing in Taiwanese dialect in certain Taiwan. So um, we follow, once we followed Madama Master to Chen Yin to Pingdong, and there was, back in that time, we didn't have the Ziji, um, Ziji, uh, Jing Si Tang in Pingdong, but um, we live, Dama Master Chen Yin and us, we lived in Yuan Tong Temple. And we had, uh, we had, we ate um, mango with Dharma Master Chen Yin. But I, I have a, I'm, I was going to, uh, I was going to be the host of the activity at night. And I was really practice, I practiced the, reading the Chi's mission statement in Taiwanese. In 1990 to 1996, um, Tsuji Foundation, the member of Tsuji Foundation grew very fast. And um, 1991, um, the Tsuji, Tsuji became a internationalized. Um, 1991, there was a, a hurricane and, uh, and the uh, flood in China. And I always um, talk about what we need to do to follow Master Zhen Yin's footsteps and what Master Zhen Yin want us to do and on the Dai radio. And, and I, I also hope that uh, I could recruit city mem members on Dai radio. Uh, although uh, there was um, um, uh, in Taiwan, um, Master Zheng Yan also received awards from Philippine Mike Sese uh, Award and also the um, the award for uh, social promoting social um, awareness. Um, the awards of a social movement of promoting social peace. In the in the early days, in the early days, uh, Dari Radio was very important because it, in the early days we did not have the Dari TV, and I was very very busy. And in nineteen ninety four, CD. Uh, medical school established, and we overcome many, many, many tremendous um, medical um, challenges, and we establish city bone marrow registration, and we and Master Chen Yan's. Master Chen Yan's, uh, the car carry mass, drive Master Chen Yan to uh, the ITV. Well, we need to label the, the route for allow the Master Chen Yan to come in. And, and also there's a, a hurricane herb, herbal in Taiwan and it heavily struck Taiwan. Um, and it was devastated during the devastation of the hurricane. Uh, Master Zhen Yan um, 
was on a four by four to um, to assess the um, devastation devastation of the typhoon. And 1999, uh, April eighth, President Lee visited to the school uh, junior college of nursing. And in July and in April 1993, April 10th, President Lee came visit to the hospital. And the president here, since the president's visit, I, of course, I have to um, interview the president. But the security guard, but the security guard uh, um, did not allow me, did not allow me to uh, get close to the president. And 1993, President Lee's visit um, to the hospital again. The safeguard tried to um, prevent us to um, get close to the president. Um, so, uh, Sister Chi, Master Chen Yan, told the say. The guard, safety guard of the president, say that uh, they, these volunteers, they are my followers. Please allow them to enter. And I was, I told them, I told them this is not the presidential hall. This is a city <laughs> hospital. Please allow me to. Enter the city hospital. I have the quarrel with the uh, with the uh, safety guard, security guards of the president, but they uh, they say, oh great, they they gave me a big hand because I was right. This it was city hospital. It was not presidential hall. So I could enter in. I went to the city hospital. Uh, Master Chen Yan knew that uh, what happened that I forgot. I, I was angry because they did not allow me to go in. And I forgot that I my mission was to interview the president, uh, but I didn't get a chance to listen to their sharing. So I didn't know what to say or what to report. And, and, um, in my profession um, as a broadcast house, it was very important for me to be precise and and pre. I need to. I need to know the uh, right person, and um, I need to know the time and where this event happened in the city history. And this is the ex when do we started to have the city city uh, hair bun? Do you know that how city uh, one day Master De Jin asked me this uh, 1999 on, on, on April 27, city uh, was in the in the Taipei to uh, uh, Master Zhen Yan help to calm the Commissioner Xi Yizai's sister Xi Yizai's hair. Look at me in the circle. I didn't have the Chiji hair hairstyle. Uh, I perm my hair. I have the curly hair. Uh, back in that time, do you know where in 1999, on April 28, do you know why Master Chen Yan visit uh, um, 
don't have university because because Master Zheng Yan, we we are going to establish a city uh, university and Master Zheng Yan visited the um. Visited to uh, Donghai University to learn their experience, and have, can you recognize the circle? On the right, there are two commissioners that they're in the same circle, and there were uh, Zi Yue and Zi Lan, sister Zi Yue and sister Zi Lan. And the second question, uh, what? How many? Uh, cabbages. The first uh, long term care, uh, no, the first city medical care case is because in the city history, I've seen some of the documents uh, recorded that there were. Um, this this lady, she was she cut two cabbage or three cabbages, um, and she was um, scolded by her husband. Her husband, so she committed suicide. Uh, when uh, she cut two cabbages or three cabbages, do you know? Uh, we uh, dig into the the document. We found uh, it was recorded two cabbages. Uh, where does the where in which year Matt Dharma Master Zheng Yan's stepfather uh, passed away? And in Jing's uh, journal. And we've seen the uh, ancestral tablet. In, uh, we confirm that it's in uh, e Taiwanese year 47, 1950, year 1958, when Master Chen Yan was um, 21 years old. And this is the route Master Chen Yan ran away from home. The first question, and this is the 30 year anniversary of this year of CG Reset Environmental Protection Mission. Use your clapping hands to do the, uh, to do the recycle. Use your clapping hands to do the uh, to do the recycling. So, uh, Master Zheng Yan was invited to give a speech in, uh, by the Wu Zhenxian Foundation, and the location where Master Zheng Yan gave the speech, uh, speech was in the uh, Xinming High School Auditorium of Xinming High School. And Xinming High School was not the host of this event. The host of the event was Wu Zhenxian Foundation. So uh, we need to be mindful to um, read the um, CG history document and the recent. Um, a recent uh, book of CG, uh, Jing Si, they have a very, they go through very mindful um, and now in this, we not only need to use our town to talk about CG and talk about and record the city's history, and we also need to use our voice to broadcast CG's spirit and to um, take a to take a good affiliate to um to the general public, and I would love to share very precious pictures, photos, uh, Master Zheng Yan and um, Master Insen. 
And in, 19, in 2020, August, we see the handwriting of Master Chen Yan. And Master Chen Yan, uh, Master Chen Yan write um, one each paper. Master Chen Yan write four times. He uh, she write using uh, pencils and write using um, ballpoint pen and use brush. And uh, the, I uh, collected the Master Chen's <laughs> handwriting because it was very precious to me. Uh, I didn't. I didn't want to show anybody that what my collection of Master Chen Yan's handwriting because I was very afraid that people uh, that uh, someone would want me to donate my collection. But they were very precious to me. Uh, we need to be careful about what we say because uh, we need to be careful what we say can benefit the sanctioned things. And, and 20, in 20, 20, year 2018, I retired and uh, Su Yuan Da, the very famous animator Su Yuan Da, uh, painted my portrait to me. And this is the uh, Hua Lian Jing Si Ho uh, that you walking from Jing Si Ho to um, to Shijin University, you will be able to see me. Can you see that this uh, next to my my right was uh, Li Ye Ye, the Grandpa Li. He was an entrepreneur who who was a big supporter of Shijin uh, mission. And this is our photos with Dharma Master Chen Yan. I'm very grateful the radio big families. And we were able to hear the great love from the iRadio. I'm very grateful. We are, we are so sorry that uh, there were my some uh, some annoying annoying voice in the in earlier, and we're trying to improve the quality. In the past, actually, I follow the the Da I broadcast very closely. And there are some program like uh, Master Chen Yan's morning teaching, and like uh, right now the morning assembly, morning assembly. After the Dharma teaching in the morning, and then I turn on the radio, and like uh, Sister Yi Jin, the broadcast is on live. I stay with you very closely. I appreciate that. You know, actually, uh, the online study group, I stay closely with you too, every week. Not only, not only she watched the study online group, but she also gave us many good comments. <laughs> and from and from from Sister Ciyun actually would learn a lot. Many story, many story was repeated, but even it was repeated, it was still a very good story. <laughs> it's a learning attitude. So we learned a lot of from you. Oh, the, the presentation you showed us earlier about the Ciji Hail Bang was uh, made by Master Zheng Yan. 
Have you ever heard that? If this is your first time to hear this, please raise your hand. Yes. So, Sister Tsuyin always give us、uh, her first hand information. And now we all realize that the, the Tsuyin's、uh, first help was made by Master Tsuyin. But my first, my first help when I hold a、uh, meeting、uh, back then, I uh, my uh, my Tsuyin help was actually made by some、uh, senior sister. At that time, the regulation is not like street. At that time, I supposed to host a meeting, and a senior sister look at me and see my long hair, and she thought it's not a very appropriate. So、uh, she stay with me, and、uh, she say they say that.、Uh, Four volunteers to make my curly hair and into a, a hair bun. See, after this, you look more, you look more, you look, you look more beautiful and look more appropriate. So in the Cixi, in the Cixi, there were so many touching story. There were so many、uh, story that、like、we can recall. And Sister Tsuyin is、uh, always be mindful. <laughs> uh, we are grateful that、uh, Sister Tsuyin give us uh, many uh, precious uh, picture, and we thank,、uh, we appreciate、um, uh, Sister Tsuyin's sharing. Our lecture, our lecture every week is wonderful. Now this is the section of the kitchen phrase, and this is the this is the kitchen phrase created by the principal of a Cixi Canada school. Started from the sharing of the volunteer from Mongolia to the sharing of CEO of Cixi Education Mission. They will give us a lots of a positive energy. She gave us the kitchen phrase right away after the online study group finished, and this is、uh, the kitchen phrase from Zhou Ruixin. Cixi's love to the care recipient is、uh, remarkable, and admire eighty-three years old sister Zhang Xue's contribution on the environmental protection. The young doctor Chen Wei Ren make a good use of his acupuncture profession to save people's life. And from Malaysia, give us his feedback on the building of the Jing Si Hall in Malaysia. CEO of Education Missing Wang Burong is now regret to dedicate his life to Cixi, and this make Cixi University become one of the top university in the world. And next is the recap from our catching fresh team in USA. So, sisters, when I share a story about how Cixi's love transformed a child's life in a better way, the guide read it by Sister Zhang Xiu was telling us the importance to do the good work to sustain our environment. The doctor Chen Weiren from Dalian Cixin Hospital with a puncture professional cures the patient mentally and physically, and teacher Ong Qianhui feels very blessed because the teaching in her class are spreading the love during COVID-19 pandemic. 
the CEO of Education Foundation, Brother Wang Berlong, practiced the sutra in daily life. And Sister Liu Xiu, the tea ceremony teacher, told us the natural sweetness of organic tea. And Sister Xie Yu shares the story about the whole project in Mozambique after the cyclone Ida. So let's give them a big hand. Thank you, Sister Cixin. You are wonderful. And uh, we uh, we appreciate uh, that the sister leave the message, give us a good comment. And volunteer in Canada appreciate the the teamwork, the online study group that led us to join the Dharma teaching and can stay with everyone. We also appreciate the、uh, two Shirley, the sister, the contribution that the、uh, education mission in America. And then volunteer in Thailand, give us a feedback. That the education in、uh, in USA is、uh, remarkable too. So we plant the seed in the children's mind, and、uh, hopefully one day they will grow up. And it、uh, it's a role model. So we appreciate the sister Chong Chong is sharing. And now this is the、uh, the program. Okay. Now this is the access. The access are created by the brother in Xi'an. Every week, every week they give us feedback weekly. They are young, but they are very mindful. They write down what they have learned from the online study group. And like a brother Jian Long. And、uh, it's uh, uh, because of the love of our Zhiji's family, we can transform people's life into a better way. And this is the feedback. This is the feedback, and this is the asset created by the sisters and brothers in、uh, China. And then the sisters in Changchun,、uh, she will be called out next week. Mm, it's a, a very uh, it's a role model for us as a living uh Bodhisattva. And then Sister Xu Hong, because of the Jia Hao story, uh, we uh appreciate her diligence and get on the study on my group every week. We give them a big hands. And now this is the program that we're going to call out to China. And now take, let's take a look. Look at this video. This is the video telling us that、uh, this is the fifth times that we come to this village. We hope that all the volunteers in this village they can 
uh, be inspired and plant a good seed in their heart. And this is another video. In the story is the big flood in 1998. Not only Cixi provided the aid distribution, but we also built. We also built uh, 64 houses. The blanket is still very very warm. So it's been 21, 21 years. So we a brother Wei Liang is uh, remarkable. They are, the, the, the family support him very much, even promoting the vegetarian meal, even promoting the vegetarian diet, vegetarian meal. The family already stand behind him. This is her daughter. In the past, um, mom always cooked the meal, but now sometimes when mom is out, now dad dad will take over and cook the meal, although it's not like delicious. It looks like. A, it looks like uh, he uh, he changed, become a better man after he joined the Cixi over uh, over one year. Okay, now because we are praised for the time, and the topic today, the topic of the sharing today is is something about the in pandemic. The truck took three days to get here. The warehouse in the airport is very busy at the daytime. So the Cixi volunteer, they spend the night to handle all the, uh, the ship, the, the material. It's uh, three o'clock in the morning, and all the Cixi volunteers and work so hard. It's been back and forth many, many times. This was supposed to ship to Philippines, Mozambique, and Nepal, and, and the other countries. We hope we can ship them as soon as possible. There was a, a chapter, there was a charter, charter flight the cargo holds is full, so we have to use the passenger candy to load the, the goods. And not only in Guangzhou, but the volunteers in, Hu, in Hulan, they also help to pack and also help us to sold out all the merchandise that we're going to ship to the countries in need. The love is no is no boundless. So we appreciate uh, during the purchase uh, procedure and the tran transmission position. We hope that uh, we pray for the end of the pandemic. Now let's, uh, let's give them a big hand for all the volunteers, what they have done during the pandemic uh, period. I know, I, I know the brother uh, Tang Weiliang was because of when I was in Shenzhen, and uh, he was in the Shenzhen too. So now he worked for the headquarters of the city. So we have, let's, let's read this together. i like to stay with you because you have positive energies. So let's welcome brother Tang Weiliang. 
Uh, the background is a, 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 is a chocolate. Uh, respectful Dharma, respectful Dharma Master Zhenyan and the Masters at Court, and the sisters and the brothers of the world. I am uh, very grateful under the guidance of our Ziji headquarters. The purchase team of global epidemic prevention material established. And our first job is to find a supplier. Such material is very difficult to find. Everyone is not buying stuff, but everyone is grouping the stuff because every manufacturer has their client waiting for the shipment with cash in hand. We are very busy. We're busy to contain the supply, but sometimes we were turned down. And there are many different items used for the prevention of the epidemic. The quality varies from Europe C to USA. Sometimes we thought we found the qualified material, but then when we sent back the, the headquarters told us and they are not qualified. And uh, there was one time we tried to find a mask to meet FDA standard, but uh, this is rare to find. After the, we find a supplier, the next step is sign the contract. And the sign the contract is uh, is very uh, is very is very difficult too, and uh, because that requires the full payment. And we all know that the Ziji's charity fund was accumulated by the coin bank. So every time we have to pay over like a ten thousand or a million dollars, how do we believe? How do we assure that the supplier will ship the order after they got the payment? And uh, fortunately, with uh, with the Ziji volunteers and negotiate negotiation with the supplier and the inspect. And uh, we inspire the supplier's uh, love so we can cooperate and then they dispatch the shipment without any mistake. There was a strict regulation for the export policy for China. In late March, we ordered the mask for, for Malaysia and, and some merchandise for Indonesia and the other countries. Actually, the material was arrived at the warehouse ready for clean customs. But then the new regulation come out. So all the material has to ship back to the factory. This involved the warehouse expense, the refund, and the new uh, inquiry, the new problem. With the reduction of the international flight, it's difficult to find a uh, space on the plane. I still remember that in April, we have uh, 30,000 closing, protective closing ready delivered from Changchun, but with the cancellation of all the international flight, we lost, we leave us lost where and how to go. And like uh, in April, there was no flight to the Republic of Syria. Unfortunately, the nation united gave us a hand. So eventually we could ship to, we can ship in June. And like uh, there was a breathing machine, there's a breathing machine that's supposed to get on the plane, but because the flight was canceled, we, we were, we were devastating, we don't know how to, how to do it. It was a mess. And there was a private private plane from Indonesia. It was supposed to ship. They were supposed to load the breathing machine, and there was a little little battery built in, and the built 
the battery was considered as a dangerous merchandise. So couldn't get on the plane. And with the with the negotiation between the government between in Indonesia and China, and the, some of the shipments was get on the plane. But the third shipment for another hundred breathing machine, although the volunteers in Indonesia they worked so hard, we still couldn't we couldn't get on the plane. So when we received this news, we worked we tried to go to the warehouse to disassemble the battery, and the factory told us actually the battery cannot be disassembled. So we were very frustrated. Uh, finally, we shipped by ocean freight. Every day, there were so many stories that happened, enough to write a book. But uh, when we encounter difficulties, we just overcome the con. Uh, overcome the difficult. Just like Master Zheng Yan told us, there are always more solutions than problems. So we have uh, we have over uh, twenty suppliers, and uh, we have, have uh, uh, more than uh, uh, twenty four waters. We ship to six continents, over seventy countries. So with very few mistakes. In the past three weeks, three months, we finally realized that uh, actually we live to work. Sometimes we forgot the time, we mix the meal, we forgot the drinking the water, we forgot what date or day it is. In the past, we worked to live. It was tired, but nowadays we work very, uh, we work every day. The same thing, and we do the meaningful things. Every day we we notice that the sisters and brothers they work, and they work unconditionally, and this really inspire us. And uh, I really uh, gradually I can pick up the teaching that the master gave us, the told us. Like uh, if our heart is beautiful, the scenario will be beautiful. If our heart, our mind is clean, and then the scenario will be refreshed. So all the difficulty actually was come from our mind. And I appreciate all the opportunities that we can contribute ourselves to do the good thing, to make the world in a better way. Um, thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Wow, Wei Liang, you, your great sharing really give us a very good uh, positive energy. Although we are, we are very tired, but we, but we have, we follow the right path. We can forget everything, but we couldn't forget to do to do the good work for our Ziji mission. Sorry for the sorry for the for the interruption. Sorry for the interruption. Thank you very much. Let's give William another big hand. It's a good job. And the sister in Hudan, Hainan, give us a positive feedback. And now we have Miss Feng En and uh, his fellow volunteers from Guangzhou. And uh, now we are online here. And uh, we will be, you know, doing our best to promote vegetarianism. So let's wave and say hello to volunteers from Guangzhou. And I hope that we can see you like every Wednesday and hear your stories. Inspiring and always serve us to remind us to enter. And it's going to be great that you will just learn something, okay, and the positive energies. 
从这里的旧法新知，让我们去了解慈济哈。那非常感恩我们的郭玉梅师姐哈，她承担协力组长，也是我们的口译团队。同时，他们 and from here, then we can just absorb the Dharma and use it in daily life, and we are very thankful to 郭玉梅 and she is a interpreter too. And now, and、uh, I, I heard that she is very good at talking about Suji because of our online study group. And now, time for stretch out and exercise, ladies and gentlemen. And let's give our volunteers a big hand. We don't have many volunteers with you, but they are so passionate. And we have a Lin Xiangyi and Kong Xiulian. So now let's just do some exercise and please stand up. And so you have to wear your masks and you have to wash your hands. So let's dance. Are you ready? Let's go.
当我们躺在一起，在一起，在一起，当我们躺在一起，起，等一下。亲爱的，请不要看我，你们就做你们的就好，看我的就不准了。好，来来来来，回来回来，我们赶快把它唱完，预备，开始。当我们躺在一起，在一起，在一起；当我们躺在一起，起快乐无比。你对着我笑嘻嘻。我对着你笑，哈哈！当我们同在一起，起快乐无比。好，转回来，转回来。不管怎么样，你们都转得非常的好。好，活动组在这边祝福大家身体健康，活力哇！谢谢，非常的感恩哈。香鱼今天呢，用这样的方式也是非常的棒的哈。那接下来大家看到的讲师出席精彩，自己也知道。我们呢有两组的讲师哈。那今天的下一位这位讲师就是我们熟悉的高明志老师的哈。那高明志老师 ，It's great that you know we have such an exercise, and today we have the second guest, and we will have a teacher 高明志 later. And did he, did he ever come over here? Of course he did. And who likes him? And who enjoys his class? And let's take a look here. And right here, and they hear all the videos that you have watched before. But we still have a lot of kids who also like the teacher Gao Mingzi about the exploring education. And in the real world, and、uh, we think we can connect the world with love, and kids will give you a lot of answers, and、uh, they just learn such answers through learning. And through learning, they really gain a lot. They learn a lot. So with such exploring education, so we can really have、uh, volunteers from Malaysia, and、uh, you you can just watch this video and just forward such video, and、uh, we will learn much. And here we are in Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen. And they are young; the kids are young, but but、uh, they can also really learn something. And students, like teenagers and like young children, all enjoy their classes. And if students are even older, and、uh, do they love his classes? And here we have a teacher Gao Mingzi who is a profession in the human resources training. And now for the young people who just entering the their career of their new job, and how do they overcome the difficulties, and how do they become a really professional teacher? And right here, teacher Gao Mingzi is still teaching here. To young people, and why? Why did? Why does he possess such ability? And let's take a look. When a person, okay. And so now we are, you know, watching a video from Malaysia, and we have all the teachers in Malacca, and they are having a meeting right here, and they come up with a lot of questions when they are having a meeting. And and they are talking about how to have an efficient meeting, and it requires a lot of skills to promote the efficiency. And we have a teacher coming to there, and he is a city volunteer, and he is also the general manager of a Napton Consulting firm. And we we have Gao Mingzi and the Malacca volunteers and share their self consciousness of managing a meeting. So, do you think that the teacher Gao Mingzi is really talented and a professional? How can he just teach you know students from very young children to very young、uh, to very you know aged people? All right. And now, we 
have a, the exploring education team here. And in 2017, when teacher Gao was here, and today we have their team, exploring team here today. And now we can see on the, on the videos that we will be able to see of the, our from Chiji Relations Office. Uh, Minju, Sister Minju is going to share what he knows about Ga, teacher Gao Minju. Dear Dharma Master Jian and Dharma Masters and Chiji families around the world, I am a student of Gao Mingzhi, teacher Gao Mingzhi. Uh, um, May, uh, teacher May gave me a task to talk about the, something that we don't know about uh, teacher Gao Mingzhi. And there's something funny be, uh, happened in in the past, uh, 2011, in year 2011, um, Chiji University, uh, at the, ref, uh, the freshman, the, the freshman of the Chiji University, um, teacher Gao Mingzhi gave the freshman a career planning um, conference. Um, we planned the we planned the class for the re, the for the freshman year uh, students, and we also welcome the other um, students to join the uh, the conference. And he called me a uh, teacher. Gao Ming to call me, uh, ask ask me whether I've arrived on time. But I was on my way, but I left some my, my laptop on the train. And, and it was uh, someone sent my, uh, my laptop computer to the, uh, to the front desk of the, uh, at the train station. And then I, we took on the, we rushed on the taxi to rush back to take my laptop and we rushed back to the, you know, to the university. And this, it was very, very, um, um, very bittersweet memory between only two of us now. And although it was 10 years, it happened to 10 years ago, but I still remember and um, and the teacher Gao Mingzi always loved to cook when, when his wife uh, was busy at work. And I think his wife say that, uh, and he, his wife say that teacher, teacher always. And please, you know, hold the brochure on your hand. And this is a gift for everybody right here. And I know that you are going to approach teacher Gao Mingzi. So let's have a and this is a handbook that I was written uh, collected by the um, Gao Mingzi. Let's give a big hand for teacher Gao Mingzi. And he's been visited us in Kaohsiung for many, many times. So every time to, he came, uh, this time, as thanks to Mingzhu, and uh, we know that the uh, teacher, teacher Gao Mingzhu also is very good at cooking. And, and the interviewer, the author, talking about uh, Gao Mingzhi, um, he, uh, before the Mother's Day, when he talked about 
a connection uh, uh, for, for his wife uh, for the Mother's Day. And they, uh, the author talked about, uh, talk about teacher. They, uh, when he talked to teacher, um, Gao Mingzi, she, they were very, um, they were very close in their mind and they uh, understand each other. And there are many, many uh, stories about Gao Mingzi uh, in this book. You can read the book and understand more about how uh, Brother Gao Mingzi could be so capable of do the sharing for uh, young children to the elder people. And they could all learn so much from him. And I'm very grateful for the great introduction and the warm welcome. And I, I have many good friends right here with Wei Liang, who just, you know, connected with you. And Wei Liang just sent the preventive material all over the world, and he is really a diligent Bodhisattva. But, you know, he is very diligent, but where is the diligence from? And it is from the Dharma. And now let me, you know, have 30 minutes and talk about the seven parables in Sutra, Nota Sutra with you. And in the brochure that you just read, and here, and we have the study group of Lotus Sutra in Taipei, and we hope to promote Lotus Sutra, Lotus Sutra, and we like everybody to know about the principles here. So in the brochure, the content is 100% about the Lotus Sutra. And we want to turn the Lotus Sutra into the prose languages that everybody can easily understand. So we find out the seven parables in the Sutra, and we make it into the prose languages that you can easily understand. So do you think the brochure is very small, and so you can just make it portable in your pocket? Then you can just, just read it whenever you have time. And this is the work of our study group in Taipei. And if you want to know the details of the Lotus Sutra, then you can just scan the QR code right here on the left. And on the right, and then you will see the videos you know, about our study group in Taipei. And within the Lotus Sutra, we have the seven parables there. And we have the burning house parable, and we have the parables of a first son, and we have the parables of, you know, the medical plans, and we also have the parable of the computer city, and we know a lot of parables right here, so let's have a quick overview of it. And there are 28 chapters within the Lotus Sutra, and... Uh, and it's not a hundred percent, you know, delivered by the Buddha, the Shakyamuni Buddha. And we are talking about the two major of them, and uh, they are very important because you know, we have a parable of the poor son, and we have the parable of the precious jewelry. And they are the key parables. And about uh, the poor son parable, and uh, we have Shi Puti and the Moher Jia Zhang Yin, and they are the disciples with greater capabilities. And we have also Sir Liv with the great capability. And uh, after he got uh, the prediction of the Buddhahood by the Buddha, and he was shocked. And other disciples just contemplated really hard, and the uh, then they got a conclusion, so they tell the Buddha, saying that actually everyone should be very rich and that they can inherit the heritage from their fathers. But they are just, you know, lost in the delusions and they just don't know that they are rich inside themselves. So 
therefore, the Buddha just、uh, delivered the parable of the poor son. And after this, and their disciples were just awakened. And if you are awakened that you are a human being, then you got the capability to be predicted into the Buddhahood. And we think that we have a lot of attachment and the difficulties, and、uh, all those problems just cover our human, you know, true nature. And do you feel now you are deluded and you don't know who you are and you don't even know what you are doing yourself and you just have fun and head around all around? I think this is a so-called delusion. And if you turn your delusion into awareness, then in wisdom, if you feel you you are poor in wisdom, then you are awakened one. And you got a capability walking on the Bodhisattva path, then you are really a way to awaken. So you can awaken, you can be awakened by yourself. Then I will say congratulations to you because you already possess the wisdom. And within the seven parables. And Shakyamuni Buddha really, you know, does his good job that he really want to turn human beings into awakened ones. And there are some roles like a father and the sons, and there are some, you know, roles like like commanders and soldiers. And there there are some, you know, roles even like a Dharma wheel turning sage kings. And there are even some roles like a gods, heavenly gods, and、uh, they spread the rain. And the, some roles are just like、uh, instructors or good friends that、uh, guide you and overcome the difficulties in the dangerous paths. And do you think that the Buddhas have delivered the new old roles in the sutra? So do you have to imitate the roles? As a dharma conveyor, and of course, then you have to diligently work on them. And when the Buddha is delivering the dharmas, and do you why why do you think you know he has to deliver you the parables and the stories? And do you like to listen to stories? Uh, yes, and people enjoy listening to stories, and because they are more fun and they are more easily absorbed. And I like a, a quote in Lotus Sutra. It, it says that all the people with wisdoms can be obtained the wisdoms in parables. And、within these days, and、uh, Master Zheng Yuan talked about all the parables in, in her Dharma talk. And if you really want to know anything about the parables within the Lotus Sutra, so you have to listen to the Dharma talk by Master Zheng Yuan. No matter how smart you are, how wise you are, through parables, then you can understand more clearly about what the Buddha wants to say. So you know the parables of the Kongju, the city of the poor son, and all other parables, and we also know that.、Uh, We know that from the sutra also that we also just have to spread all the dharmas through a lot of parables and the promote my teachings through skillful means so people can just get rid of their agony and the problems. They are the parables, and they are the dharma. And most importantly, Buddha wants to. Guide the sentient beings away from their attachments, and if you can just get rid of your defilements and attachments, and this is what the Lotus Sutra want to do on you. And within the seven parables, and the, the main purpose is to get you just get a dharma into your mind. And it is really challenging that you know I have to finish all the seven parables within thirty minutes. Or within the burning house parable, and it talks about a, a rich man. Okay. It talks about a rich man, okay, and、uh, he has a lot of sons in the burning house, and the house was paint was with painting, 
uh, with paint peeling on the wall and uh, with planes decayed. And what's worse, it was on fire. And it is dirty inside, and it is filled full with poisonous insects inside there. And it, it maybe it has a lot of evil spirits also inside there, but you can just see them. And people just don't care about that because they don't feel anything. They don't care. And one day the house was burning in a fire. And the rich man, the rich owner, was so worried about this. And、uh, there are still some children playing inside the burning house. And the rich man just want them to evacuate from the burning house, but the, the children just continue playing and ignore him. And ladies and gentlemen, think about what can a rich man do if the rich man just cannot get the old, you know, children out of the houses, and the children must die. Therefore, the rich man just said to the children, saying that、uh, children, kids, and I prepare a, a lot of sheep cars and deer cars and cars、uh, outside the burning house. If you can just get out of the house and you can enjoy playing with the cars here. So the kids are so happy, and they just rush out and ask the father, "Where are my, you know, toys? Where are my cards?" And the the rich man says, "Okay, because you are here and you are good kids, so I give you all the cards to have fun." And this is the parable of the burning house. And it. Is also retold in other perspectives of view, describing that the burning house has a lot of evil spirits that will affect your mind to be deluded, and they. And let's take a look. What is the burning house parable talking about? It is talking about all the defilement and the agony in our world. And within the three realms, do you think it is just like the burning house? And we can see in Australia, in North California, and we have a forest which is on fire, which is burning now. Okay, and the the burning house is just like your desire that it may burn your mind and the true nature. And the house is a parable to the three realms of like of. Realm of a form, form this and form of desires. If you watch the Da Ai TV, then you will see all the you know pictures on the you know TV, and all the forests are on fire because of the four major imbalances. And we will know that the rich man is a parable to the Buddha, and the kids are a parable to the sentient beings with ignorance, and the decayed houses. And the decayed flinches is a parable to people who don't care about the principle and who don't care about ethics. So Mr. Zheng Yuan just say something that the three realm is just like a burning house, and if you don't get rid of the desires, and it's just like the fires that burns your true nature of your heart. So within the twelve affinities. And、uh, if you don't carry the dharma in mind, then you will just do bad things, just you know, like the burning houses on fire. And we also talk about your desire and your ignorance and your arrogance. And if you're angry, and it's just like a fire, and it's just like the three poisons in your mind, and desire. Is a fire that burns your mind in your heart, and desire. What is desire? You have to contemplate it. What the desire is, and I, I, I think I, I don't have time to to let you in a contemplate. So it, I have to make it quick. So if you really want to get deep into our Dota Sutra. Then you you have to be really diligent, just like you are here in the online study group today. And if you want to get rid of your ignorance and you need dharma water from Mr. Zheng Yuan, and you have to reduce your desire in mind, and you have to you know get you know to be good friends with the good dharma, the great knowledge, the the great wisdom in mind. 
你走在菩萨道上呢，哈，那你你的心念。If you come to the the this study group, you will be able to get close to the people with great knowledge, and they will share the great knowledge with you and great wisdom with you. So you won't be burnt in this, uh, in this house. And the second one is the second parable is the poor son parable, and this is the. Um, the story about a, a son who got lost, a, a son of a wealthy family who got lost, and and the father would look for the son for many decades, about fifty years. But this was, uh, was was very wise, and he became the the uh, the most uh, wealthy person in the country, and he had many servants. But he he looked for his son and didn't, he couldn't find his son, the lost son, um, and one day the uh the son was the poor son, went back to the his, went back to his family and but he couldn't find, recognize his family since. He got lost it, since he was a child, so he couldn't find, recognize his family. And but the father、uh, could recognize his son.、Uh, but the the elder, the wealthy elder, the wealthy father wanted ask someone to the servant wanted to invite the son to back to home, but the the son was. Very afraid, he thought this servant wanted to、uh, cut him because he makes a mistake. So he he fainted,、um, and the, this elder, the, this wealthy、uh, elder father,、um, was very wise. He asked、uh, someone. His servant to give his son a, a job, offer him a job, so he、uh, went back home to um, um, do the cleaning work at his at his own with his own family, and he.、Uh, And the father, the father,、uh, take off his uh, luxury uh, clothes. He, he take um, he wear um, uh, normal clothes, and he also get closer to his son and to work together with his son and gave、uh, and praise his son that he is um and tell him that he is the most diligent person that he ever seen and he works so hard. Um, told his, and the the father told his son that, uh, this, um, that everything in this since you are so diligent, so that everything in this family can, uh, I'm willing to give to you. And. And he was the son who got lost for fifty years, and he returned back home for twenty years working as a servant. And he still, the son was still very afraid that he he didn't know that he was the the lost son of this wealthy family. And now,、uh, after twenty years working as a servant in this wealthy family, that um. He finally get to learn his family, and then get to know the get familiar with his、uh, get to know his his father and the family, and so and also the father、uh, announced that this this son was the last son of his. So the all the、uh, treasures and the family and all the wealth belong to this. Son, and he, the son, didn't know that、uh, for for the past seventy years, he didn't know that he is the owner of all these precious treasures. Ah, Moha Jiazhan and Moha Jiayan, what these? Um, this dis Buddha's disciple with great capabilities. Why they share this story? 
they don't have any afflictions. So the 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 main teachings of the Dharma teachings of Lotus Sutra is to turn small into great, turn the lot into great, to turn our small wisdom into the great wisdom. It's just like as this parable is to analyze, and anal is the analogy of that we could turn ourselves, and we could we all have the treasure, great treasure in our heart. And the third one, the the parable of medical herbs, and in the nature we have we have all kinds of plants. Um, great uh, grass and big trees, and there, and there are small, uh, with small roots. And when the when the rain, when it's and all the plants got nurtured. Uh, when it rains, a little little tree nurtures with a little moist moist. It it um it ana it's the analogy of a a person who is has limited capability who could also who could only absorb the limited dharma teachings. And if you are if you are a uh, a person with great capabilities that you could, you are just like a big tree who could um, absorb moist, um, great moist from the rain. So this, and then the medical herbs means that uh, medicine means that our dharma nature, all of us have dharma nature in our heart. Uh, how do we become a big tree? How do we become a big tree? Uh, we we need to uh, listen to the Dharma teachings, and we need to take in take the Dharma teachings into actions, and we can, we could come to understand, uh, absorb, and come to understand it through the practice of Dharma. And there was, uh, there was a city long-term care uh, case. Um, he he make vow that he want to become a big tree. Let's all say together, we want to, I want to become a big tree. All of us are able to become a big tree. All of us have a great. Dharma, uh, uh, Buddha nature. The next one is the parable of control city. Uh, there's a, a, a group of people who uh, know, who heard that there's treasure in a, in a, in a distant place. So they all want to go go for a uh, hunt for the, uh, the to do the treasure hunt and this. And there's a guide, um, a guidance. He said, well, I could lead you to do the treasure hunt. And, but um, they've traveled long distance. And the, this group of people, they say, uh, we're so tired, we, we want to give up on this treasure hunting journey. Um, but this guide, their leaders, uh, know that these. So he, uh, he, uh, this, the, the, the guide uh, gave, um, he uh, gave, gave, see, show them the big country cities with uh, gardens and. Um, and a, a great place for them to take a rest. So after they rejuvenated their energy, they could take on the, uh, the treasure hunting journey together. So um, the country city is for us to take a rest. It's not for us to, uh, to, uh, to stay there forever. 
if you want, if you want to,、uh, if you are willing to take on the journey,、um, and don't stick on this,、uh, to stick on the, in this country or city, you are the bodhisattvas of.、Um, Walking on the Bodhisattva path,、uh, we need to have a great teacher. We need to be diligent. We need to set our goal. In our great、uh, teacher is Dharma Master Zhen Yan.、Uh, we uh, make vows to to walk on Bodhisattva path to with diligence and. Um, the par the fifth parable is、uh, about the a pearl and the clothes. And the person who know、uh, that、uh, he is very poor, that he know that he has a relatives who is very wealthy, and he went to visit his wealthy his relative wealthy family, and he had a drink and he fell asleep. He got drunk and fell asleep, and、uh, the rich relative he saw a pearl in his clothes, and this this poor person didn't know that the relative saw the jewel in his clothes, and the、uh, the wealthy family uh one one day um the wealthy relative. Uh, met this poor person on the street, and he wondered why his、uh, this poor person still、um, uh, uh, still poor because he already had a pearl, a very precious pearl. How could he?、Uh, because he didn't know that the the poor person didn't know that he has a precious pearl in his clothes. And we could overcome the.、Uh, We could overcome the evils of five aggregates. We could overcome the evils of agony, and we could overcome the evils of death. But、um, but we couldn't have. We are just like the、uh, the poor person did didn't know that we have the Buddha nature. Buddha nature is just like the pearl, the precious jewel in our clothes. And we, but we didn't know that we have the capability of to overcome the, uh, the uh, evils. As、uh, for example, the evils of five aggregates, the evils of agony, the evils of death, and evils of our surroundings. And,、um, we if we could if we could overcome these evils, we could combat these evils. We could.、Uh, Um, eliminate afflictions, and we could find our Buddha nature. It's just like that. We could find our the、um, precious jewel in our clothes. And the last one is the the medical fathers and the son. And the father was the father was a. A doctor, and he is very good at diagnose the symptoms, and he is very good at give the proper prescription. And one day, one day the the doctor father found that his his children's uh was poison, and he he uh wanted to give the his children he wanted to give prescribe his children proper. Proper prescription, but his、uh, some of his children didn't wanted to、uh, take his prescription. Oh,、uh, he didn't. Some of the children didn't believe on his prescription, and they didn't take the prescription that he this father doctor gave them. So the father gave、um, tell his children that he wanted to be on business trip. So,、uh, but he still gave the prescription、uh, medicine to his children.、Uh, the, 
After a while, the children heard that uh, the father passed away. Um, the children was regret that they they didn't take the medicine that the father gave uh, left to them. So they regret they took the medicine and they got pure. So they regret that they didn't listen to their father. So the the great the Buddha was like a great doctor. And, and the dream room is just like a burning house. Uh, all the all the uh, plants they could get the uh, uh, moisture from the rain, and all of us are just like the plants. We could take down the dharma medicine to uh, pure our heart. Uh, if you are in the desert, uh, you you walk in the desert. You need you are you are thirsty. You need water. And sometimes when we fail water, we have a lot of water, but we do not know how precious the water is, or we didn't appreciate. And we, this parable is to um, remind us to um, uh, to cherish what we have. And all of us, we could, are just like the our Buddha nature is like the uh, our Buddha nature is like a, the lotus that grows in the muddy muddy ground. All of us. We have the uh, pure lotus flower in our heart, and we have uh, tremendous. We have tremendous, boundless wisdom in our heart. And uh, we have only three thirty minutes, but he went through, rushed through all the expounded very clearly about this seven parables of from Lotus Sutra. And he gave us this little booklet of Dharma, uh, Dharma teachings of Lotus Sutra. So it's a pocket book, so all of us you could have. We are we very welcome you to come and. And we hope that all of you, you could get this uh, little book set to put in your pocket, and you can read through this um, Dharma teachings. So there are so much about the teacher Gao, and uh, we really get touched by what he shared to us with us. And now, let's now go to the next part. Okay, and now let's go to the volunteers' book, which is Dharma with Infinity Blessings, and we have Ding Xueyu with us. And I think uh, you know, Dharma Joy is about uh, you know when I was you know not a certified volunteer in 2014, and it was during the 49 years of the exhibition of what Tsuji has done for the past 7, 49 years, and uh, I was ready to learn something and uh, try my best to have uh, you know all the Dharma resolved for me for myself. So I was, you know, uh, participating in uh, training courses of the guiders of uh, the Jin Si Ho for 16 weeks. And at the time, I was under the training courses, and I was uh, yet to be certified volunteer. And after I got my Dharma name on uh, December 12th, and I was a certified member, and uh, I especially wanted to thank to Mr. He Min Chang of the foreign language team, so I could be part of the you know, volunteers in this team. And that year in okay, 2015, when Master Zheng Yun was on her you know, routine trip to Kaohsiung, and I was a certified volunteer. Therefore, I began my training courses for 16 weeks for the guide volunteers in Jin Si Ho. And I knew that I was not capable enough 
So I brought my portable disk with me and、uh, copy some documents that I can just, you know, make notes and remember them whenever I have free time, so that I have enough information to just boost my own energy. And within the few years of the guiding tours, and、uh, what impresses me is. Were that、uh, when I gave a tour guide, you know, to the kindergarten students, and the、uh, teachers and students were so happy when they just visit here in Gaoxiong Jinzi Hall, and were they just only happy there? No, and it、uh, was the third trip for them of the teachers and the children this year, and they really hope they can they can have a spray that they can have the you know. Seeds of Dharma spread in their mind, and besides, then we have a Australian professor, and、uh, he was really impressed by my tour because you know we have for、uh, you know compassion technology with him, and he just wrote me a thank you note saying that he was really impressed. And he wanted to just invite more volunteers and the teachers and the staffs here to Taiwan next time. And think about this: Did they really come? Yes, they really came. Just in 2017, with more teachers and the professors to Jin Si Ho. And I feel that within the team, I can not only form good affinities with people, but also we can just use our own strengths and spread the Dharma. And、uh, in on December twelfth last year, and the Gaoxiong Jinzi Hall was certified as an environmental education facility and field, and it is the first place that received the environmental protection admission belonging to Executive Yuan the certification, because you know everybody just do their best. And we can have such a great effort there, and we 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 really have a lot of to say, a lot of cutting stories to talk about, and because of the certification, and it needs to just match the criteria of. Our government, and therefore, and we have some volunteers who are receiving the training courses for 121 hours there, and we are under a lot of tests and the difficulties. But as Mr. Zheng Yun says, that that we have to deliver the Dharma, however difficult the situation is, and spread the Dharma and do our best, and it is the responsibility on our shoulders. And if we are mindful enough, and everybody just can pass on the dharma, and you have my great wishes, and you can just you know talk about the dharma with great affinities. And if you have the good knowledge, and you can just encourage each other and spread the dharma, and you can be the teachers for people around you. And you can form great affinities, and now let's have a Chen Shu Man sharing. And Madam Master Chen Yuan and the masters and the volunteers, good day. And in recent years, you know, because the pollutions of the global and, and the global warming is a great difficulty for us, so the environmental protection is a key for us. And 30 years ago, Mr. Zheng Yan had begun the recycling mission, saying that we have to use our clapping hand to do the recycling job. It is a great affinity that you know within this year in March, and Gaoxiong Jinzi Hall has turned itself into a certified field like environmental education facility and field for volunteers and for. Students and teachers. So a lot of people, so many people, can just come over and know what we are doing and really do something to protect our earth. And I'm really grateful that we can just, you know, shoulder the responsibility to deliver the dharma. And I just, you know, get in charge of the lesson plan. And I have to also repent a little bit because, you know, when the lesson plans are. On the process of being checked, and there are a lot of mistakes on that. But I am grateful to Lai Yuling 
and she just you know correct the whole process and the whole project into a better one. And finally, we got a certified. And it is named from cradle to cradle, meaning that we have to learn from the nature and then go back to the nature. Everything can be returned to the greater nature through our life. Then we can know how to recycle our materials and the resources and reduce the waste and the consumption of the na of the natural resources. It's grateful that uh, you know in two thousand and, and, and in a few years ago, and uh, we have you know created a, a portable blanket which is is made from plastic bottles, and it was uh, just a plan by Mr. Zheng Yan in two thousand three, and we can can we turn you no know, poor into rich. And I have to say that the Mr. Zheng Yan's wisdom is always ahead of time. And to protect our environment it is a universal value. And so we have to gain the experience. So I realized that within the protection of the environment, and we really have a lot to learn. So I hold on to the affinity and participate in the training courses of the environmental protection for 121 hours. And after I completed the whole project, I have to take the exam. It was a very big challenge for me. But uh, I think as a Ciji volunteer, while Jing Si Ho has become the environmental education facility and field, and we have to face a lot of customers and a lot of guests from all walks of our life. So we have to deliver the Dharma and we have to deliver the good knowledge. Therefore, I think I have to learn not only the Dharma, the Dharma, but also spread the great knowledge about the, the environmental protection. Mr. Zheng Yan says that if we have faith and the endurance and the courage, and there's nothing that we can achieve, and if uh, I participate uh, the certification and uh, take the exam and uh, the lesson plan compilement, then it, it is kind of challenge because you know, there are a lot of limitations and uh, the written test for me, and I feel a lot of pressure. Yeah, but uh, when I think about the three elements, uh, of from Mr. Zheng Yan, and I felt so great that, and I'm very grateful that I am here, and I'm grateful to Teacher Chu Yue that guides me to grow up within the Dharma Spread team, and because of Ci Ji, I really boosted my life, and uh, the value is even greater than before. Thank you very much. And Xue Yu and the Shu Man really share something that touched me very much. And when you were here online and study with us, and you were just strange yourself into the Dharma, and you can share the Dharma, and you can really learn something. And what 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 is you know the man doing here like a master Fang and he is just here holding the sign and I'm not going to let him talk and say anything. So everything here touches us really much, right? And in Kaohsiung, the we have the Dharma Spread team here, and in other cities that we call this a guiding tour team, right? But actually, different name, but we really do the same thing. That is spread dharma. So let's say it: uh, spread the dharma, and uh, let people know the Ciji dharma lineage. Thank you very much. And now we have a, a team talking about Ciji. And Ciren uh, says that uh, before we had the uh, internet, and uh, we really have to know the dharma and the Ciji through cassettes. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Wu Cheng Yao, and uh, I have been in the Cisau team since I was certified. And in May 
And we know that COVID-19 is really a big problem for us, so we didn't have the Shizhou classes this year, but we didn't stop doing something. And the education is still going on there, and the online, then we just promote the students and the parents to eat vegetarian diets at home. So this is the purpose we promote the vegetarianism. And we see that students just promote the vegetarianism to their friends and their classmates, and they post the pictures and post the videos on their teams, lion teams, or nine groups, and in and their Facebooks, and this is a great effect for us, right? And it is really a great honor for students who go vegetarian, and this is a great thing that and. The, in June this year, that uh, we really have a ceremony that uh, you know honors students who really go vegetarianism. And I heard some students say to me that because they go to cram school, so they can just have a vegetarian meals at home. And parents know this, and that they help them and they go vegetarian. Therefore, all the children and the older parents just came over here to the ceremony and. Of a word, and uh, their Bushiban director was really touched too. And uh, for the second day after the ceremony, and uh, the whole family just became vegetarians. And we also had a classroom of vegetarianism, and uh, we just designed them games and the recipes for them to know how to cook vegetarian food, how to make a good vegetarian dishes. So they know exactly how to do this, and we see this, and、uh, we just you know add a lot of sweet papers into salad, and I realized and、uh, we use the gram powder in the salad, and、uh, this is really delicious and nutritious. And so now let me just tell you this secret, and、uh, you can share this to people. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm here again. I'm busy today, and today I like to share with you about the project that、uh, I get involved. This is, you know, I, I'm really deeply touched by the old Bodhisattva here, which is elder volunteers here. And they were here with us in class, and this is a great affinity. That I know that one of the you know elder volunteers is also a vegetarian, and I really want to know why she became a vegetarian. And that day, I had a chance to hear he she shared his experience, and because that her. Grandma was also a vegetarian, so such a behavior and her Suji experience also bring the influence to her parents, and、uh, their parents also became vegetarians. And when the person that I know adopted a vegetarian diet. And、uh, she just carry a very weird concept in mind that going vegetarian should be something that a monastic practitioner should do. But why do I have to also do this? And therefore, and she also just get online and try to find some information through the internet, and she find out some factors, and she did an experiment, and she just adopted a vegetarian diet for. A hundred eighty days. Okay, and she realized that it is good to his body, to to her body, and she is healthy. And、uh, she also just had his body check, you know, from the hospital. And after the report was released, that she realized that as a vegetarian, she is really healthy, and she didn't has any grease and oil accumulated inside her vessels. And so she had a wonderful experience being a vegetarian, and she also did a great job. You know, when she was, you know, eating vegetarian diets and normal money, 
needs to be spent because you know she saved a lot of money and she doesn't waste too much money like having coffee or having a lot of snacks there. And what I want to share with you, most importantly, that is you know this is a great impact that a great influence you know to the whole people, to the old people that adopt you know vegetarian diets. And from the great nature, we also learn something. And let's just know, let's just look at something from the picture here. Now you will see the polar bear is so hungry and so skinny, and now there are four. You know, natural imbalances on Earth. So, what do we do? That、uh, we concern how many Earths are a year. And until June, July 29th, then we assume so much Earth and Earth resources, right? And due to the COVID-19 this year, so the Earth turned back, you know, greener, turned greener. Well, but okay, <laughs> and it, it is you know a, a new report that until a I mean until August twenty second, our Earth turned even greener, and Mr. Zheng Yan, you know, just worries a lot about the ecosystem on Earth. So she encourage us to do more recycling. And the pets on Mr. Zheng's aspiration, and the spirit of the recycling volunteers. So we just do the recycling jobs in the recycling stations, and here are the grubber bags. But can we just finish collecting them? Okay,、uh, you can say no. If we are mind enough, then we can finish all the tasks all together. So I really want to invite everybody just do your best and、uh, do the recycling job with us, right? And. We just want to mobilize people and clean our earth. And I, I, I think that you have, you know, already seen all the pictures here. And the beaches are so dirty, right? As you can see from pictures, and we are going to clean the places this weekend. And ladies and gentlemen, thank you. And we know that the climate change is a really big problem for us. So Mr. Zheng Yuan really wants us to just do the research. Job with our applauding hands, and this from now on, the we young men have to also do the recycling job with our, you know, young hands right there. And this is the third month that we clean the environment, just like we young mentioned that we just collect all the grubber bags, right? And no matter the weather is so hot and raining, so we just go to the recycling station and do the recycling job. And now I really encourage you know young people, you can just you know donate one to three hours doing the recycling job in the recycling stations. And not only do we have Garbage in the recycling station, but also we also have a lot of garbages on the coastal lines or at the beach, right? Especially after heavy rain, and it's dirty now. So we really want to mobilize the young people to clean the beaches and the the, the, the coasts, and we really want to turn the hurt earth into the clean one. So this Saturday, I really want to mobilize everybody. To bend yourself and、uh, just clean the beach at Aradia this weekend, and thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And if you are touched and just do it and scan the QR code and、uh, just join us. And you can just you know just register online. So let's do this all together, and we can reduce the carbon dioxide dial. And I'm looking forward to seeing you here. Thank you. Young people are really energetic. So they they just tell me on Thursday about this information. But once they share with me the information, I will just do my best to share their information to everybody, and they can just use their hands. To do the recycling, and they are the drum team, so they can not only play the drum, they can, but also they can just do the recycling job. And I feel honored, and I feel touched. And on September fifth. 
Please go to you know the beach and try to clean them. And we have a Jingdian in a lecture in the morning on September fifth. And after this, then you can clean the beach at early on that day. And I, I think that will be your abundant day because you know you can have something great in the morning, and you can also do something in the afternoon. And all day it is a very good day. And now, let's. And we have the you know instant noodles, and it is really delicious. And you can just get them on okay at our bookstore here. And I personally already purchased like five big boxes, right? And please, you know, share with people that we also have the turmeric powder, and we have the soybean milk powder. Then we also have the yogurt powder, which are really, really nutritious and good to our health. And let's go to the great review next week, and we will have a Guoliang Jun as the principal of the Rich Mount Academy, and we also have Amin next week, and we also have the pharmacist from Dalian City Hospital. And now we are, you know, on the way to invite more like guests in 2021, and it is going very smoothly. And we also have Ji Mami next, you know, on September 16, and she is gonna be coming here on the 16th. And we also have for our principal Ang Xiuling, and、uh, she is she will be here on the 16th too. And because of the earthquake on September. Twenty first, so we invited them here, and we also have a lot of doctors coming from the Tsuji Hospital, and we will have a decision from Dai TV, and they are going to share their own touching stories with us on that day. And I think that this is gonna be a very abundant and happy three hours today. And、uh, we have、uh, you know Gao Mingzi today. And amazing, okay. And、uh, the message is, is you know for Ciyun, and、uh, you really have a great feedback here. And、uh, I think we already spread a good effect to Singapore now. And Xiao Mei is, is、uh, part of our team in Taipei. And here in the English and Chinese platform, and we have a lot of positive feedbacks. And I'm really grateful. And although I just can't read them one by one, I still feel very touched. And we have a volunteer from Si Jia Zhuang who created a catchy phrase. And through the platform of the Dharma spreading, and we have a lot of elite and professionals here, and we also have a Si Yun who is retired, but never stopped doing Si Ji missions, and we also spread the love and the follow message to his footprint really diligently, and we are mindful in passing on the Dharma really carefully, and we also spread the love, and you really have a beautiful voice, and we love hearing your beautiful. Boys and you are pressed, and you are so young, and you are getting more beautiful. And teacher Gao Mingzi, you know, was here before, and、uh, he is here today. And、uh, please, you know, just spread the links, and you will just enjoy listening to the, you know, positive Dharma one more time. And、uh, Please spread Dharma, and、uh, you will hear the positive, positive energy again. So now, palm together and bow to the master and the Dharma. First bow, second bow, third bow. Okay, and let's wave goodbye to the master and、uh, say goodbye. And I will see you next Wednesday. Okay.